Looking for cheap MT and much 16 coin? Head on down to logger.com. All right, guys, today's practice is all about one more. One more rep, one more down, one more pass, one more yard. If for some reason right now you're thinking that McKay is just going to give you this game, you guys are out of your mind. More, forget about the hype. You got to forget about the words, forget about the papers. You got to just handle your business like you've been doing all season. All right, gather around, fellas. Now keep in mind, this is the biggest game of the season. You have to give it all that you've got this Friday. I believe in you guys. And come Friday, we're going to show who the real kings of Connecticut are. Come on, more, break them down. All right, guys, you heard coach. Let's get it done, baby. Knights on three. One, two, three, Knights. Hello, everyone. I'm Keenan Shaw from The Dish, your favorite Connecticut sports show. And today, I'll be discussing the upcoming Connecticut High School game of the week. East Hartford will play McKay High School in their last regular season game. Both teams are a lot for the playoffs, but this is just a pure rivalry. Devin Moore, younger brother of the late Derek Moore, is surely a player to watch, as he has thrown for 2,103 yards and 517 yards rushing, with 34 touchdowns total on the year. He has received offers from UConn, UNC, UCLA, Syracuse, and Ohio University, as his decision is still unclear though. Devin might be a tad shorter than his late brother at 6'4", but he can still get the job done the same way his brother did. This will definitely be a game to watch. And as always, adios. It's crazy how coach tells me to forget about the hype and forget about the papers but I don't think he understands how important this game is to me. You see, for the past three years, we've lost to McKay, right? And all of a sudden, he wants me to treat this like a regular game? Nah, that's not gonna fly. I have to play this game like it's my last. This game is gonna show whether I'm that elite quarterback that can play at the D1 level. He just doesn't get it, man. Just doesn't. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls at home, get ready to witness some Friday Night Lights. It's going to be the McKay High Eagles going up against the East Hartford Knights. Coming into this game, both teams are undefeated and one team can leave victorious. McKay has owned this rivalry matchup. They have won all three the past three years. But Devin Moore, the senior quarterback for East Hartford, has a chip on his shoulder this season, and he is coming to this game very confident. Only one team can leave, the King of Connecticut. And as I send you down to Dane McKay Field, the East Hartford Knights will receive this game and the McKay High Eagles will be deferring to halftime so Philip Everett takes it from three yards deep in the end zone and gets to about the 18 what a bad return so Devin Moore trotting out onto the field Benjamin Marks breaks two tackles and picks up the first down a 14 yard rush for him so Devin Moore dropping back evading defenders gonna throw and he's gonna not complete his first pass of the game that was not a really good pass did not look confident at all but he's just gonna loft it up there and find gonzalez for the first down a 22 yard reception so first down and 10 again for the knights and benjamin marks is gonna get stopped in his tracks so second down and 10 devin moore dropping back he's gonna only pick a one yard on that carry so third and nine for the East Hartford Knights, Devin Moore dropping backs. Gonna find his receiver, Rondell Taylor, for the first down. So, the East Hartford Knights are putting up a good first drive of the game. And that's Benjamin Marks taking it for two yards right there. He's having a pretty good game so far. He's gonna get a carry to the outside. Only picks up one yard, so third down and six. Can Devin Moore bail out his team yet again? He's going to run out the pocket and pick up the first on his feet. A 10-yard rush for Devin Moore. So Devin Moore dropping back yet again. Finds his receiver, Rondell Taylor, 
for seven yards. So third and three for the Knights. They've been on third downs the whole drive so far. And Devin Moore is going to roll out. He's going to throw it, but oh no, gets intercepted. That is not what the Knights were looking for coming out this game. They knew they had to score early if they wanted to have a chance this game. But with mistakes like that, it's looking hard. So Tanner Collins, he's going to run for the McKay High Eagles. And he gets stopped. So third and five, Tanner Collins dropping back. Tanner Collins picks up the first on his feet, slides. So he doesn't get hit. So first down and 10 for the Eagles. Scott East handles it and picks up about five yards. Scott East is a pretty good running back. Uh, UConn is definitely looking at him. So is Sacred Heart. And oh my gosh, that is Tanner Collins at his best. He's l being looked at at Florida State. Florida. So many schools, I can't even count it on my fingers. And that's Wes Webb defending that one. So that was a three, not a three and out, but they did have to punt the ball so Devin Moore doing his best impression of his late brother just evading the pocket and picking up the first on his feet so he's gonna dump it off to Benjamin Max who picks up the first down six yard reception for Marks Marks is definitely one of the most highly touted running backs coming out of Connecticut he's gonna take the counter and pick up about eight yards on that carry making it second and two so Devin Moore rolling out to his right's gonna run nobody in front of him he's gonna run into the end zone untouched Devin Moore scores the first points of the ball game yes Devin Moore once again Getting it done on his feet. So Scott East getting the carry. It's going to get dragged down in the backfield. That is that East Hartford stifling defense working right there. And yet again, Patrick Ransom covering his guy like glue. Tanner Collins can't do anything about that. So Tanner Collins dropping back once again. He's going to loft it up there, and it is incomplete. Wes Webb on the defense right there, so they had to punt it. So, first down and 10 for the Knights yet again. Benjamin Marks spinning off a tackler. Benjamin Marks got blocks. Benjamin Marks going down the sideline. 20, 10, 5, touchdown. East Hartford Knights strike yet again. The Eagles are getting throttled so far. They, don't, they cannot find a way to stop this offense. So... The Eagles coming out yet again. First down and 10. Tanner Collins dropping back. Tanner Collins is having a hard day. Three for eight so far. Jeez, it, it is not one of his best days. But he does complete the pass to Kendrick Rollins. Kendrick Rollins is running good. Picks up the first down and a lot more. A 28-yard reception for Tan from Kendrick Rollins. Uh, if you guys don't know, the nephew of Jimmy Rollins. So... Ken Kendrick picks up the first down right there. So, so far, so good for the Eagles on this drive. But Scott East gets stopped and his trash gets trucked. Absolutely trucked. So, the Knights get the ball yet again. So, they're going to have to score fast. Devin Moore rolling out. Finds his receiver, Benjamin Max. Four, eight yards. Devin Moore dropping back once again, rolling out, finds his receiver, Rondell Taylor. He picks up the first down, a 25-yard reception. So with 22 seconds left, the Knights got to get something going real fast, real soon, real quick. And, oh, he does complete the pass to Bradley Van. Damn, Bradley back at it again. So Devin Moore dropping back, third and inches, rolling out to his left, going to throw it, finding no one. So at four seconds left, the Knights can just try to kick a field goal, but you know this is high school. This is high school, so it's way short. And Flynn took that one from seven yards deep and gets absolutely leveled. So we will go into halftime with East Hartford leading 14-0. The Knights are coming out here like somebody owes them money. And the Eagles have not been playing the same way. I mean, this is a team that's undefeated. And they are getting absolutely throttled. I mean, yes, Devin Moore did have that interception early in the game. But as you guys can see, he has definitely bounced back. And he is trying his best to lead his team to victory tonight. You guys see... When it comes to rushing yards, you cannot stop the East Hartford Knights. And passing yards, you would think McKay would be leading 
But no, Tanner Collins cannot find his receivers. So, second and two in the third quarter. Tanner Collins fumbles the ball, and the East Hartford Knights recover it. And another miscue by the Eagles. Devin Moore rolling out on a first and ten. Picks up six yards. This guy is not scared to run. He's going to run again, this time picking up the first down. A 12-yard rush. So, the... Knights are really cooking this drive. Devin Moore throws it up. Bradley Vaughn picks up the first down with the reception. So, one man in the backfield. That was Devin. No, it was Benjamin Marks. They went wildcat. And Zach Chandler, the running back, scores the touchdown. So, it's a 20-0 East Hartford Knight lead. The Eagles, they do not want to upset this home crowd. So, Tanner Collins trying to get it done on his feet, but gets sacked. In the backfield. So that read option was to Scott East. But Scott East is not going to find anywhere to go. Makes it third and 11. So Tanner Collins. The Eagles go five wide. Tanner Collins is going to find his receiver Rollins. For the first down. Kendrick Rollins has been eating up this East Hartford defense all day long. He's also getting a few D2 offers. But this pass by Tanner Collins was way offline. Tanner Collins not having the greatest day, as you guys know. 7 for 15 definitely won't get the job done. And Scott East gets absolutely leveled, which will make it third and three. Tanner Collins handing it off. Scott East barely picks up the first down. That is the break the Eagles needed. Hopefully, it leads to points for them. So, Tanner Collins dropping back. Finds Flint four. Eight yards Almost a first down, but he gets tackled in his tracks. So third and four for the Eagles. They got to get something done fast. And that is Tanner Collins picking up the first down right there to Ken Kendrick. So Tanner Collins rolling out. He's going to level a defender and get eight yards on that rush. Tanner Collins, even though he did fumble, he's still not scared to run. And he does complete the pass for a touchdown. The Eagles score. So they got to get the onside kick if they want to win this game and that one is not going to be recovered by the eagle it's going to be recovered by the knights so basically the knights they're in they're in the hot seat to win this game we're they're going wishbone and devin moore is gonna hold this one for a one yard rush and you guys know that the knights are not gonna let up because this is a bitter rivalry and this coach he says that he doesn't care what the score is. He's going to keep on scoring until they can't score anymore. So Benjamin Mark's going to take this one to the side and pick up about 15 yards. First down and 10 yet again for the Knights. Devin Moore is going to find Gonzalez for the first down with a minute left to go in the fourth. Up by 14 points. So Devin Moore is going to roll out to his left this time. Loft it up there for Marks. And Marks gets the touchdown catch. And this one... Is over. That's all she wrote, folks. The East Hartford Knights come out of McKay with the victory, 28 to 7. A a complete domination by the Knights. Devin Moore did not start out good, but he kept this composure and had one of the greatest games he has had all season. As you guys see, Benjamin Marks, your player of the game, but 124 yards rushing and a receiving touchdown. What is which is absolutely amazing. And the scouts were in full attendance. They're definitely going to be looking at him. But you guys see. 28-7. to East Hartford. Catch you next week.